Okay. So let me try to share my my screen here because I did pull up the budget. Mayor Franklin sent it to me. Um, and did she send you last year's around this time? Yeah, Sorry. she did. It, this is this is dated FY23. But when I look um, at it, it has um, 22 in, in the actual spreadsheet. But let me just share it. Hold on. Give me one moment. Mm -hmm. Okay. Coming up. really slow. Let me know when you can see my screen. Has it come up? Not yet. Not for me. Just a little circles going around like it's trying to load. Okay. I don't know what's going on. Commissioner Brooks, would you like to introduce yourself to the team now that you're be the liaison? Sure, I'm Derek Brooks. This is uh, my first time, uh, actually my third time running for town commissioner. I didn't get it the first few times, so this is my first time. Um, I'm glad to be aboard and I'll learn from all of you to see how to move forward and help as many ways as I can. Great, glad to have you. I am so sorry, my computer is freezing up. So if I drop off, are you guys still there? Yeah. We're I'm, here. Yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. we're still here. I don't, I don't know what's going on here. I can't see you. <laughs> we can't see you either. We just hear you. Yeah. I see I'm you. like really, I am really frozen. Um, anyway, okay, so let me just talk through this. Um, I apologize for the technical difficulties here, but that's what's going on. It's trying to reconnect to the internet. There you are. Let me try it one more time to try to share my screen. Oh, I see there it. There it is. There it is. There it is. God, it took forever. Okay. Okay. So this is, uh, yeah, this is like my second time looking at this and budget wise, I'm a little confused on it, but that's okay. <laughs> out. um because it doesn't really outline it doesn't give the details for the numbers right so real quick uh movie nights was 1600 um i don't recall us doing there was one uh-oh lisa we can't hear you we lost I see your screen, but I can't hear you if you're talking. One movie, um, popcorn machine. Oh, you can't hear me? Now we can. Now we can. Now. You froze for a while and we didn't, we had no audio from you. Oh, uh, okay. Let me get off this. I, I VP'd in. Let me get off of the VPN and see if that helps. Uh, but you all can see the spreadsheet, correct? Nice. Yes. Yeah. Yes. All right. Let me let me log off of the town VPN. Do you have any questions? Just looking at what we. 
what's in the spreadsheet? Anything stand out? Well, it's so tiny, I really can't. <laughs> I can see it if I get really, really close. Okay, yeah. hold on. I see it. I see it. Um, yeah, I see it all. I see it too. It's Is too tiny. Happening? It's too tiny for me, but go ahead. I can see it. I can see it, but I got on my glasses. <laughs> Bye, folks. Can you see it? <laughs> yeah. Yes. 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 No yeah. close. Okay. So, um, I'm just going to take this line right here. Okay. Day FY 2022. And I'm going, I don't know what the 1500 is for. Um, that could, I, I don't know. I'm trying to remember how much it was to get the, the moon bounce and things like that. I think that might be that cost. I'm not sure, mm -hmm. but either way, looks like the previous budget was for 7250 um but go ahead that's for fy22 it says it does say fy22 but, but the it, file name is fy up here at the top is fy23 events committee proposed so maybe that's what we proposed for FY23. Mm -hmm. I didn't do the budget last year, unfortunately. So I, I, I'm clueless on this part. I mean, I know how to do a budget. <laughs> that's, that's what I do, but. Um, and it says increase. Was the amount. I think this was the amount that was submitted for uh, 23. Does that make sense? Because their budget year starts in July. Is that correct, Commissioner Brooks? I think it starts in July. Yes, I, July. Yes, I believe so. Yeah. So that's what they submitted based off of FY22 budget submissions. Does that make sense? Mm hmm Okay. Yeah. It makes sense. Yes. So I don't know if anything that is there anything that for Marble Day that you would recommend that maybe would take us over this amount? Like any any ideas? I know we we haven't officially started planning for Marble Day, but is there anything from last year that you felt like we we should do more of or add something into it that would increase this budget? Does that make sense? I've never been to one, so this year will be my first one. Are you serious? Yeah, I've never been to one. <laughs> but I, I'm I'm saying maybe a a DJ would be good to have, kind of. Yeah, we, we did normally have, have them. We did have a DJ. We did have one. Yeah. Okay. And and apparently this year we don't have the DJ in the budget. So. Oh really? So, yeah. I have heard that. Yeah. Yeah, they had no, taken this doesn't it out make of any sense. No. Well, I knew we couldn't. We they took it out of the budget for a trunk or treat. I yeah. just hoped it was going to be in the budget for Marlboro Day. So then, what would we do other than a DJ? I mean, we need we needed to be lively. Yeah. Are we going to have any type of music at all? Through. Um. Well, they have something? we have music at trunk or treat. Yeah. They played it off with their phone. All right. Right. But yeah. uh, okay, I mean that that would work. That's an alternative. We could do that. But remember, no one was manning it. Um, we couldn't hear it everywhere. It wasn't lively. Nope. So it wasn't loud enough, you know, where everybody could hear it. For trunk or treat? For yeah. trunk or treat. We couldn't hear it at the prize wheel. And I don't think it was lively because nobody was actually manning the music. And I don't even know how long it played because we couldn't even hear it at the back. Okay. Anyway, but having piped in music is fine if that's what we can get. Yeah. But that's not going to be loud enough. We just can't make it an afterthought. Hmm. Yeah. All right. I'm going to make this note. And what is this line? Let me see. 
But still, even if we have piped in music, um, the music from some um, playlist, we have performers and they bring their own music. So somebody needs to be up there and play virtual DJ or something. Yeah. Okay. Well, are we having performers this uh, this year? Yeah, we, we should. Yeah. yeah, we plan on doing the okay. same the same setup as we did last year. We want to have a parade. Um, okay. We're gonna have performers if we get performers to come, um, and then you know the commissioners will be part of the parade, and then they'll you know have the stage. That's the same. It's the same intent. I have not heard a change in that regards so let me ask you a question you you know speaking of music um uh, the the voice boxes is that a um do we have i'm trying to think do we have those at town hall like you know the music the the boxes that with the volume voice is the is the brand karaoke, sort of are you thinking karaoke it's just, it's, Oh. It's just a, I mean, it's just a volume, but you know, voice is a brand name of a, um, of the, oh. uh, of, you know, how, yeah, that the voice, you know, the little, the amplifier boxes. Yeah. Um, and if we could get like, um, uh, hmm, what's the word I'm looking for? You know, like someone could like, I'm like a DJ, but something like a, um, uh, some type of a, of uh, um, something like we can Pandora? pull from the internet, something we like can Pandora? pull from the internet. Yeah, something like Pandora, correct, thank you. Like we can pull and just amplify that ourselves if there's no money in, uh, involved for, um, if there's no budget there for um, music. Okay, yeah, I think, um, so we, we had the speaker for the trunk or tree and, but it doesn't, like go the speaker wasn't loud enough to like go throughout the whole um event um mm -hmm. but i mm -hmm. will confirm that with mayor if i do believe that's our speaker um i do see a line here in the budget where it looks like they might have bought speakers okay um, yeah because there's a line here um in the budget i'm not sharing my screen but it's saying fifteen hundred dollars for a speaker or something like that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but okay so the action is i'll ask mayor franklin um do we have speakers right and how and how many do we have and would it be able to accommodate marble <laughs> right mm -hmm. um because we're not going to have a dj but we could I, I can ask if we can get a dj um because everybody really, I thought everybody enjoyed the DJ. Yeah, yeah ask her again. <laughs> okay. Okay. So I'll do that. Um, anything else? Like Brenda and Wanda, you guys have been to multiple Marble Days. Um, mm. Anything that stands out to you that we might need? That's not being addressed. Well, on your on your um on your list, spend the speaker. On your list, I guess you could, you know, put the line items, what we did. I know we did a lot, but what you need. Yeah. Plus so, uh, just off the top of my head, I can't remember, you know. I, and then on top of that was postponed and we lost a lot of stuff. We lost the, we lost the performers, we lost the parade, and there wasn't that many people that came out. So Hopefully, it'll, weather. Yeah. yeah. So it kind of, hmm. Well, I, what know, you think I know the DJ is probably what we really, really need, you know, to really yeah. keep things going, keep it lively. <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah otherwise, you know, that music is not, not going to cut it. And the that. DJ is, is essentially the host of the program. It's right. keeping the party and the event yeah. going lively. Right, lively. So if, you have none of, if you don't have that, people are just showing up. They may watch somebody who's on stage, a family right. member or something, dance, but then they may walk around to the tables. They may eat a little. They may buy something. But basically... They're not engaged. That's true. 
They sit down and, you know, it's not happy, shiny, smiling faces that you see a whole lot because it's kind of dry and boring. <laughs> I didn't want to say that, but, you know. <laughs> say, that again. say that again, Wanda. It's kind of dry. <laughs> well, dry and boring. I've already been recorded. Never mind. It's already been recorded. You can replay it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, she, it's, it's okay. She's just giving her opinion. It's no yeah. problem. Oh, I know it's okay. It's fine. <laughs> to me, you know, it's you, you speak in your but truth. It's, but it's correct. Yeah, correct. I, I agree. Her. It is. It's, a, it's supposed to be a fun, I don't know the true definition of this, but it's a fun celebration of the town. Yes. Okay. And it's maybe, not a good look. Maybe we can, um, I know money is very tight at the moment. Hopefully, maybe we can get some more sponsors that can help. Because I know, unfortunately, at the moment, you know, money is really tight and we're trying to find ways to uh, get more sponsors and all to help out. Um, but unfortunately, you know, I'm learning as I go along, but I know that's one of the issues right now, that money is tight and we're trying to find ways to yeah. My question is, have we had sponsors in the past to donate? So we did. We did do, um, Kyle did when we, last year we actually did have sponsors. We had people uh, sponsor, or we put out a call for sponsorship. Okay. If you wanted to sponsor like the kids play area, um, if you wanted to sponsor the inf inflatable balloon area, um, but I have to look back and see if we actually. Ooh, the uh, I can't find my paperwork on last year's at all. Do also, we, have a we did. I'm sorry. We did do the, um, brochure and people bought ads and that was a way of sponsoring. Okay. Right? I do remember now. Yeah. Remember yeah. That. yeah. 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 So, and what, what, I know we moved to date, uh, Miss Lisa, give me the date again that it was moved to. June. June 3rd. I mean, June 8th. June 8th. June 8th. And normally it's when? May 21st. It's, it was like it's a, usually the Saturday before Mother's Day. Yeah. Right. Okay. Mm. Okay. So is there any way um, that we can get some uh, flyers out, or not necessarily flyers, some information out where we can get more sponsors, you know? 200 300 as money you know money can add up and that can help with yeah. the dj part so what, is there okay. an official letter for sponsorship that i don't know kyle was the the, the gatekeeper of everything so mm -hmm. um he dealt with the sponsors you know um he went out so um i will follow up with mayor and uh, Miss Richardson, our new yeah. account administrator, and see about how we can do a sponsorship package. Um, and here's our nice little brochure from last year. Can yeah. you hold that up a little higher? Yeah, I have that. Mm -hmm. Oh, very nice. Mm -hmm. It was yeah. beautifully done. Yeah. Yes. And it was actually. I, it was a very nice, but it was kind of small, right, Wanda? I mean, what? That's no, not like a, is that like a big booklet? I don't remember it being that big. It's like half the size. I mean, here's here's the landings compared to the landings. So, oh, okay. It's bigger. It's smaller than regular paper size, and I'm looking by, really quickly. A five by seven. Like a, oh, a five by seven is maybe right. a okay. five by seven. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so between. I need, yeah, I need to uh, follow up with John and Mayor about, because John facilitated that um, brochure for Marble Day. Oh, yeah. good, yeah. And it has several ads in there. Right, mm -hmm. it has quite a few ads. Quite a few ads. So maybe, um, Miss uh, Lisa, you can speak to uh, Mayor Franklin and then get some feedback from Miss Richardson and uh, see if we can get that moving, because before you know it, June will be here. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. I'll yeah. send the email tonight and I'll make sure I copy you and Wanda on it and Brenda. Um because Brenda, you're the co-chair, right? Wanda, you're the chair. 
Really? Okay. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> we, Brenda and I just know it all. <laughs> we know it all. You were at, you were at the we meeting, so I assumed you were the chair, <laughs> co chair. <laughs> uh, either way, I will follow up because we do need to get to your point, Commissioner Brooks, on this ASAP. Um, yeah. Okay. Because, out. like I said, Miss Lisa I, and you and um everyone else, you know, if Miss Sarah can write a letter to like all the um businesses in Upper Marlboro, um, exactly. That's an official. And, yeah, and then say, you know, you know, you know, your business is here, and see if they would, you know, if they give, if each person would give a hundred dollars. That can add up. I mean, I'm just trying to throw out new ideas because I'm learning from you, you ladies. I'm just trying to think, you know, that could be a that could be a way, you know, because, you know, I don't know how much the DJ cost the last time. But if, you know, all these various businesses here, you know, um, if they someone could give 100, if they can't give 100, maybe 50. And that can add to maybe four or five hundred dollars. And I'm sure the DJ would you know, be willing to work with us. Yeah. As I remember, I think they did send out a letter. Oh, Listen, okay. you don't have a copy of a letter. I think that's what Kyle did. I so, yeah, for the sponsorship, I don't. I don't work. Yeah, Lisa, I don't can you get your hands on what who handled it last year in their files? If, if it, whether it was Kyle or John, yeah. somebody has some records of the files. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure John has it. I'm because John is very good with you know yeah. doing so, stuff like even as but even having a letter, you need backup. Go to those people. I mean, face to face, that does a lot more. I mean, Kyle, did, Kyle did that. He did that. Yeah. Yeah. He did some footwork with that. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good idea, Miss Brenda. You know, go to those people. You know, their business is here, you know, and, you know, whatever you can give can, you know, can be a much of a help for us. Absolutely. Okay. Okay. I'll definitely, um, get on that tonight um so as far as the event and anything else that's needed or missing or i can't think of anything other than i just think music is essential yep what about, what about uh, vendors what what about uh, i mean how do you pull in vendors for this the, we the, have got a letter for that too as well it's another letter it's another letter yeah. okay so i'm I've already sent out an email to the vendors from last year right. and to maybe the previous year. So I have a master file and I right. sent a save the date email. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have Aiden post the save the date to social media to let them know um, that the event is June 8th. Um, and last year I called everybody. And and I may I probably will need to do that again this year because exactly um, yeah. to um the performers right um but we did registration uh, via Eventbrite and so uh, we need to work on getting that up to date because I'm thinking and I I do need to uh, answer from from everyone when should we start selling the tickets um is it april mid-april is that too early or not early enough if i'm doing event right oh okay um, that's not too early april you think that's too i said that's not too early oh maybe late yeah maybe late april late april that sounds good okay then we have all of May and in June 8th. Lisa, is there, was there a proposed rain date that the mayor wanted or anything? No. Anybody talk about a rain date? We're not doing any rain dates anymore. So if it, if it okay. rains, it's just going to be canceled. <laughs> yeah, that didn't work out too well last year. Yeah. I had a question. Is Are there going to be food trucks or food? Yes, oh, we yeah. have food trucks. Okay. Yes. Um, we had like four maybe four or five um, right. we had food trucks and we yeah, had you no know, people love food but you know <laughs> going back to the tickets Miss. go ahead i'm sorry um i would say you know can you everyone hear me yes, yes. 
I would say, um, you know, it's June 8th. I would start sending tickets out in April. April, the first of April? Earliest. Early. The first, I would say yeah, yes. the fir first week of April. April. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. So people can embed that, you know, mark that on their calendar. Exactly. Yeah, that's not Now, true. what are the tickets for? I'm sorry. Basically, it's for a head, it's for a head count. It, it, it. The event doesn't cost. We're just trying to get numbers. Oh. Well, wait, so there's, there's, well, there's head count. So the event is free, but we also do, um, we collect the vendor fees. Oh, I'm sorry. You're on the vendors. Yeah. Yes. Okay, yeah. go ahead. Yeah, Eventbrite, right? So um, we would start selling to them April I'm gonna say April first because that's like next, like in next two weeks, right? Exactly. Yes. And mm -hmm. then um, they can start registering there. So it's town vendors, and then there's non-town vendors, and they have to pay a fee. Um. So. Okay. So that's a good date. I think April would be fine too. I mean, that's because they're gonna. We're probably gonna end up running it. Till about May, I know y'all don't look at a calendar, but I think we would end the sale of the tickets May the 18th, which is a Saturday. And that would be two weeks before the actual event. Two weeks, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So if we ran it from April 1st all the way through May 18th, that's a pretty good stretch of time to register, right? Yeah, that is. And then we have two so, weeks. Then we have two weeks to look at the vendors and do some right. little setup or placement. Yes, exactly. Okay. Okay. Now, are we going to charge the same thing same for vendors as did last year? Is that yeah. going to go up? I'm sure. It's not going to go up, but I think we are staying within that same price point. And may I ask what that what the price is for the oh, um, yes? I think it was a hundred something. I knew you were gonna ask that. <laughs> I don't <laughs> remember. I, I'm thinking about when the Christmas thing. I think it's 120. Well, for Christmas, I it think is, it's 120. One, I should know this. I'm the event coordinator. 125. Okay, let and me then, ask you this. How many vendors then, are you? go ahead? I'm sorry. I believe it was 125, and then um it's reduced for in-town vendors. In -town how, many, how many vendors are you, um, how many vendors are allowed? We uh, have, uh, I didn't remember the limit. I mean. Because I know I, a lot of homeowners in the in the Marlboro town, you know, they, they're dying to have a flea market. So I'm like that day they could do a flea market, set up a table for a flea market. Hmm. You know, just. Just to sell some of their things in conjunction with Marvel Day. Hmm. Well, you know, if, I mean, that's just an idea. What, other than businesses, let uh, homeowners sell some of their wares and things. Is How would we say, Commissioner Brooks? That I'm just throwing out ideas. I'm trying to get us as much money as we can because you know I know <laughs> Lisa said, you know, there's a discount a discount for homeowners. I mean, they can sell cookies. They could sell whatever they like. You know. <laughs> oh. Oh, what know, what is the discount for the 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 people, the residents? The in town. Hold on one second. I believe it's a hundred. Okay. Um, town, and 100. so we so just to 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 go over the um the normal process. What we did last year, we would go out and we would sell to the in town businesses before we open it up to the public, right? So. I'm thinking we will go to them first, run the ticket sales for a week, and then we open it up to non-town businesses, right? So we give them the town businesses first choice, right? Mm -hmm. um, so that's what that'll be. Let me see if I can find. Um, I'm trying to give you the exact number. I know I sent an email out to like 89 emails 
right? Okay. Give me one side. And we don't know how many we had from last year, or do we? Uh, I'm trying to find my. Uh, I'm trying to find my vendor list, and I have too much paper here with everything. Hold on one second. We had a lot, at least twenty. Twenty. More than twenty, definitely. More than twenty, yeah, maybe thirty. They were on both sides of the streets. Yes. So, from the beginning, from one end to the other, both sides right. of the street. Right. Mm -hmm. All, almost up, up to the post office. Mm, that's good. Yeah, from Governor the Governor Auden, whatever that street is, up to the Governor Auden, yeah, mm. up to the almost to the post office on both sides. Good. And that included the the trucks, the food trucks also. So they took up their space. Okay, awesome. I had on my list. Seven, six, on. Two, we have about thirty eight, according to my list that I have. Oh, yeah. From May the 17th, we had, yeah, about 38 vendors. It's hmm. a good number. And okay, let me ask, let me ask this. Go ahead. Go I'm ahead. sorry. Um, ahead. When, when they pay, the, when the vendors pay, where does that money go? Um, it goes, so it's through Eventbrite, and it, a check is sent to the town. That's my understanding. So they take a, you know, there's a fee for us to do the event right. And mm -hmm. um, then whatever profit we've made, they send a check to the town. And then I, I don't know from there, like I, it goes to the, um, the bookkeeper and they deposit into the general account, I assume. Okay, because, oh, okay, because if I thought, you know, with all the with all the money that's made that could go towards helping for the following year. Yes. Okay. So that is so let me as we're talking about so this goes back to the budget. What I received is what was the proposed budget for 23. I, mm -hmm. I don't know the exact expenditures of exactly what we spent because I'm looking at our last year's communication form and Kyle gave us a budget for Marble Day of 5,220. That was for Marble Day by itself. So, um, yeah. And the fee that people paid was one hundred and thirty five dollars and twenty three cents. That right? fee was for that fee was for one thirty five was for. Well, it's ten dollars uh, to use Eventbrite. Well, there's a fee, so you have to incur some of the cost. So we we put it unfortunately put it on the vendors. So it was one twenty five. Yeah. Let me make sure my. Let's hear the fee. Yeah. Yeah. 125 for non-town. Hold on one second. Give me one second. Sure. Oh, now I find my 2023 list. Yes. So it was 125 and that's non-town. It's $100 for the town. All right. Yep. And okay. there's a fees paid was ten twenty three, so the total was one thirty five twenty three. Okay. And we had thirty eight vendors as of May the seventeenth, but then it got rained out, mm -hmm. and so we moved it. And I don't think we had the full thirty eight show up on the rain date. Mm -hmm. No, we didn't. No, yeah. the performers didn't out. show up either. <laughs> So one of my vendors lists for 2023 shows a count of 34 vendors on the list, but that's just commercial vendors. Yes. Yeah. So we yeah. also have space for nonprofits. And but they don't pay. Nonprofits. Right. They don't pay. pay. Yeah. I was just thinking of the number of spaces we used up. But it was from end to end on both sides of the street. So yeah. Yeah. So for a vendor. Is there a certain thing they can and cannot sell? 
Mm-hmm. Um, well, they can't sell, they can't sell weed. I mean, they can't sell drugs. <laughs> can't sell alcohol. No, no weapons of any kind. <laughs> no weapons. Well, of course, even though we have a, a vapor business in the, in the in the town now. Right. Um. So you can't do that. They can't sell. They have to be a. They can't. It has to be family friendly items. <laughs> Let's yeah. say that. Okay. Okay. I get it. Because you know, <laughs> you know, if, if people want to sell some of their flea stuff, people love flea market stuff. But how, okay, so that that is a good point. But do you think a flea market person would want to pay one twenty five? If they want to sell some of their junk, I mean stuff. <laughs> I, think, I think that's yeah. a no. I think I that's think a, a no. No. <laughs> I'm they want to make them. money, but they don't want to pay that fee. Right. Well, maybe you can charge them a different price, like 50 bucks or so. Now that's getting too complicated. It's yeah, because complicated. yeah, that's okay. a different yeah. That's a different animal. All right. <laughs> well, but but to uh Commissioner Brooks' point, we could do a flea market. We could do that. Not on Marble Day, but another day. Exactly. Right. I, another I, day. I, I, yeah, I think so. I've I been asking for that, that because I've, I've talked to a lot of residents and they want to do a flea market day and I'm going to work my best to have a flea market day, whether it's in the the parking lot at the courthouse or in the at the parking lot at the Board of Education or somewhere. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I know a lot of residents would like to have a flea market, but, you know, this is my first time around, young ladies. I'm just mm-hmm. trying to think mm-hmm. of, you know. People can, you know, ways, what can you sell? You know, just bring in more vendors and have more money for us so we can put on a big event. So, um, you know, I just, uh, ways of trying to get a DJ, you know, like a lot of the young ladies said, you know, music, you know, unfortunately, people love food and music. Exactly. Um, So I'm just, you know, brainstorming with everybody. So. um, We appreciate you. We really do. Yeah. So, and if okay. we come up with some more ideas, we can discuss it at the next meeting. Okay. Well, if I, I'm gonna, so I have to get to moving and doing this event right, because um, so here's my goal. I'm gonna um follow up with uh uh Miss Richardson and. I did tell, um, we did have a staff meeting and I did uh, ask her or Mayor Franklin to reach out to the dignitaries, state officials. So they have to have a save the date. Um, So hopefully that was done and we'll know who the lineup will be for state officials coming or county officials, right? Mm -hmm. Um, They need to know early. Yeah, Mm -hmm. Yeah. and then I'll go ahead and I'll complete this event right and um, send that out to the town businesses and see if they they have an interest um, because they get, like I said, they get first dibs on registering. And then uh, the week of April, the first week in April, I'll open it up to uh, the public. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and then I'll have Aiden post on our Facebook and social media about save the date for Marble Day. Okay. Yeah. And Lisa, you said you have the 2023 uh, communications form package. Uh, Mine still has draft on it, but you probably have the final one. No, it probably is the same one. Yeah. With the rules and the timelines and all that stuff. Yeah. Okay. And Miss Lisa, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Miss Andrea. Go ahead. I, I sent Lisa, I sent you an email. So maybe it's, it's it's an event maybe we could do next year because I know the budget's tight. Yeah, I just I sent you it. Yeah, let me look at, let me pull it up. Um, event on what? It's summer jazz night. Yeah. Uh-huh. Doesn't uh, the, the Donnell's Chance Museum, they do a jazzy thing. I've gone. We went. Oh, times. yeah, we've gone to that. It's during the day. Uh, they oh, they're long. Yeah. But yeah, that would be, I mean, so. We haven't even talked about the movie night. I think we had discussed in, was it our January meeting? That we wanted to do movie nights, but also to your point, Andrea, something for the adults, Mm -hmm. right? Would be a jazz night. So 
something for the where the couple can come. So that yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe we can incorporate that into hmm. one of take away one of the movie nights and swap it with something adult, adultish. Okay. Yeah, that's great. That sounds good. First movie night is June 8th. So it's supposed it to is. be. Yeah. So all we got to move that, right? No, they made it no. So they decided the the board decided to do movie night the day of Marvel Day. Oh really? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's a lot in <laughs> one day, right? Like, right. Yeah. Well, so but mm. I need to talk to um I think it. they should move it. That's too I much. They should move it. That's a lot going on. But that's yeah. not really so movie night is something that we not we don't necessarily we're not um, really working it. We're just there. We're really not working it. Not mm -hmm. movie night. It's the town uh, staff that does it. So okay. we all have to talk to how that's going to work out because that means everybody's going to be working that whole day. Because yeah. the movie starts I'm at 8.30. The movie starts around 8.30 when the sun goes down. Right. And then Marvel Day is what? Yeah, what time does and that end? What time is that? Oh, ooh. it starts at when well, parade starts at ten. This was last year. To eleven, festival starts at eleven to three three p.m. Yep, we ended at like four. Yep. Yep, it was. So you think but, people are gonna go home, come back to movie night? I mean that that's a, a lot. That's just my opinion. But. Yeah. So they had the event time uh, 10 to 2. <clears throat> For this year? For 2020? No, last year. It was last year. So we started lining up early in the morning. I think the parade. Well, um, we didn't have a parade. Right. So yeah. on the here, on this, it says from 10 to... 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. was parade festival. 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. Yeah, okay. I can tell you because I I have this, so I can tell you for yeah. Marvel Day June 8th. I got that too. Have a 10 to 3 p.m. Right, 10 okay. to 3 p.m. Okay, 10 to 3 p.m. That does that excludes the parade, and they have movie night starting at 8 p.m. Oh, you got the new one. Oh, yeah, I this is the new one. I, yeah, it's I haven't seen website. that. One. It's on the I, website. Yeah, I have to pull that up. It's on the website. I got the old one. Okay. I get pull up. Oh, the new I'm one. not sure how this is gonna work out because yeah. Lisa, they always have an issue with Sird and um Darnell and his crew working overtime. So they may mm. I don't I guess they already talked about that and considered them, but it's about paying them and their schedule. It's not about the events committee volunteering. Oh. No, you're right. Yeah, because we don't do movie night. We don't have any real role. We just watch we're out. Not, um, so we're not we're obligated to show up for for movie night. Right, you're right. <laughs> so, um, okay. Yeah, that's a lot of okay. So we got we're really gonna have to get to getting this finalized a little bit clearer. What I how that. I'm sure they considered it when they set the dates up and the times for both of these events. Yeah. They had to consider money. Okay. Okay. So my action is to follow up about the sponsorship package. Um, and then also follow up with John about the brochure. If we're going to be doing that again, uh, sell advertisement do that. Do we want to go bigger or do we want to keep it the same size? I like the smaller size. Nobody okay. carries big purses to stuff things in. I don't have pockets that big. Yeah. That's just me. I'm sorry. Okay. Small size is fine. It's a good size. I agree. Yeah. Okay. And then I also need to follow up about the speakers. Ooh. How many we have? And also, more importantly, can we still get a DJ? Yes. Yeah. And if you can push, push, push more of the advertising on social media, that would be great. Okay. Um, 
very true because one of the comments from Chunk or Treat was it wasn't out soon enough or long enough. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Advertised. Oh, yeah. 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 But that wasn't a, but I feel like that's not an event committee event. I'm always confused on what events we do and what events we don't do. <laughs> Chunk or Treat is one of ours. That is ours. Yeah. You don't have a one of, about three. We have three students. main ones. Marble Day, Chunk or Treat, and the Holiday Party. Okay. And the Christmas, know. yeah. Okay. The rest of them we can. We help, we help with a lot of if stuff. If we help, if we want, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah. I think, well, the Trunk or Treat is not really, they didn't pay. They just bought their trucks. So. Right. I think that's why I don't view right. it as oh. a fundraising type event. Like, this is a fundraising, a revenue Generated right. revenue. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Makes anyway. sense. Okay. All righty. Well, um, Ms. I think Lisa, I have... can I ask when is the next meeting so I know? I don't want to not miss it. The next meeting <laughs> we have April for the April the 4th. Oh, yeah. it's the it's first all... Thursday. Oh, it is the first Thursday. Okay. But I'm not sure if I'm available on the 4th. So, okay. Is it always at seven o'clock? Yeah, it is. Would you all be op opposed if I moved it to six o'clock? That's matter. <laughs> well, what about you? You said you're not going to be available on April the fourth, so I, I have something at the same time at seven. Yeah. Oh, okay. But just let me know. Email. Just let us I'll, know. Yeah. I make myself available. Okay, I'm Put sorry. A question to mark on there. I'm, I don't want to. I don't want to push the meeting back. If, yeah. if we can have another night all together, that'd be fine. Or, okay. or I could do six o'clock on the fourth. Okay. So Either way, just let me know ahead of time. Six o'clock. Okay. okay. Wanda, if, what about you? If you move it to the the next or the eleventh, I'm on a cruise ship. So. No, no, we're gonna do I the fourth. The fourth at six o'clock. Um, yeah, I can, make, I can make that happen. That's fine. It's, it's good for you, Andrea and Brenda. Yes. Yes. Fine. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Just so I, okay. So that'll be our next meeting. Will be April fourth at six. Okay. Gotcha. And you're sending email, right? <laughs> I'm gonna update the invite. I'll update the invite. Please. I apologize. I apologize. Did you want me to call her out and see 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 how much DJ prices are? Um. Well, we have we had we got a bid for you, three DJs, so we kind of know to... how much. Okay. Uh, and I might have misspoken. I think maybe the DJ was taken away for the holiday festival. Um. But I'll I'll definitely confirm that with Mayor and see if we can still you know get a DJ. Can I ask a question? Was the DJ was it the cost of the DJ that was taken out of the budget? I mean, how much does a DJ cost? I mean, is it so much that we couldn't, you know, budget it in for the no, year? No, I think we can. I don't think it, I don't remember. It's not a cost factor? My head, how much we paid the DJ. I did do the quotes. Um, but I'll look, I'll tell you, I'll find the quote and let you all know how much we paid for the DJ. But as to my point is, we brought money in, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know how much we brought in necessarily for Marble Day because I did not, I, I didn't track that end of it. So um, I'm going to get exactly. clarification on how much money did we receive from Eventbrite and how much money did we actually pay out? What expenses did we actually pay out? Because mm -hmm. our budget... I mean, I think the um, the blow ups might have been eighteen hundred dollars, two thousand dollars. I don't know how much we actually made a profit from Eventbrite from selling the tickets. That's my point. I so, Lisa, that's tickets. something they 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 just don't automatically let you know at the end of an event. Do they no. not want to get, really give you that unless you ask for it specifically? Probably. I never even asked. I just, oh, all okay. I did was But shouldn't we know? 
We should know. I agree. We should know. Yeah. Yeah, we want to oh, know. Yeah. Yeah, you should know. Should yeah, know. because all you ladies are putting yeah, in this we, hard work and that. Right, you know, we're working it. You know, we want to know how we do it. That would be helpful. <laughs> I mean, if you can get those numbers, Miss Lisa, I know it's a lot on you, a lot on all you ladies volunteer. Volunteer is not easy, and it's a it's lot of not work. Easy. But if that num, if you can get those numbers from last year, that would be helpful. Okay, let me uh, let me try to do an estimate. Oh, I keep freezing up. Is it a secret that they don't let us know? Or, I mean, no, no, sometimes. it's not. It's not. I just huh? never ask that. I, you know, okay. this is so. This is my will be my second year doing right. this. Um, so if we charged, let's say I'm just going to do a rough estimate. If we did 125 and we had 38 vendors. That's a lot of dough. $4,750. Yes. Exactly. And that's a lot of money, you know. Yeah. Well, we never really cared how much was taken yeah. in and what it was used for. We just made the event happen. So I, I'm not really concerned but, about it, but I'm just thinking somebody, meaning you, Lisa, should at least have that record, something. Yes. All right, yeah. I'll get it. Yeah. I'll like, like a financial report just for us, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I want to know what I'm doing. I mean, <laughs> well, I think you should know. Yeah, I think I yeah. agree with you, Brenda. Of I think course. you should know. And I think it's you know, yeah. I think they 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 have the numbers because yeah, they do. They do. Yes, yeah, they have the numbers. They do. Because we did do a couple of refunds, but it wasn't that many. And um, anyway, okay, I'll I'll get the final the final numbers but you know we our bookkeeper has left but we don't yeah. have the same bookkeeper we had so yeah. just in a lot of transition we have a yes. new town administrator yes. and so yeah oh i thought she would be on the call tonight i was at the beginning i thought she'd be on the call i thought she was I think who she is she and what's her name her, her name, name is Carol Richardson. No, no, she couldn't be on tonight. Um, no, she she couldn't be on tonight. I'm sorry. Okay, okay. I just okay. thought we would meet her tonight. That's all. Yes, Carol but hopefully Richardson. on April the fourth at six o'clock she'll be. But here, her name is Carol Richardson. Okay, thank you, Commissioner. You're welcome. <clears throat> Town of Mission. Yeah, C A R O L Richardson. Uh -huh. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. You're mm -hmm. welcome, Miss uh, Miss Banks. Okay. Alrighty, so I'll I'll get the financials. I I do call because I we got to submit our budget. We're gonna we're gonna put in ten thousand dollars. So. There you go. <laughs> That's it. That's the way you do it. <laughs> that is the way you do it. Now, wait a minute. I'll say, let's say 20000 And then they'll say, well, what is this for? Ask if Beyonce could perform. Yeah, I oh, my that. goodness. Oh, Beyonce <laughs> wouldn't even be nowhere near you. No, not for the 20 grand. No. <laughs> well, we, you guys, are, we all are such a nice town. She might do it for free. Please. And you are dreaming. <laughs> Yeah, dreams you are dreaming. You are dreaming. <laughs> tripping. <laughs> Not dreaming, it's tripping. Okay. Um, something uh, just popped into my head. Are we gonna suggest movies next next month? The show? Yeah, Starting I don't even know what's to gonna that. be on for June eighth. I don't even know. So oh, oh, we, we, we did it last year. We um we suggested a movie. Yeah. 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 Who picks the movies? We we just throw out some things and who made the final decision? Was it Kyle usually? Yeah, I think it was Kyle last year. Yeah, he'll go and see if he can get the video um on Amazon or another site that mm -hmm. he uses. And depending on how much it costs, we you know, we got the movie. So mm -hmm. we just give him enough suggestions. That's how we do it. Yeah. Okay. But there's a definite move. Is there a particular? There mm. is one night deemed for the children, definitely, right? Two for the children. Two family friendly. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. This has been a pretty productive meeting. Very <laughs> much so. Absolutely. Okay. One full I hour. Whose dog is that? Is that someone's dog? That's my dog. <laughs> my dog is 
It's old, blind, and deaf. He just wants my attention. I'm coming. Give me a moment. Uh, okay. <laughs> she's 18 years old. She's blind and deaf, but she still gets Aww. around. Aww. She's just looking for me. I'm what coming. Kind of He's missing you. Yeah. It's a shih tzu. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, to me. So the ladies can see you. Come let the ladies see you. Uh, Oh, yeah, yeah she's blind and deaf, and she's just she's oh, I've had her for 18 years. Wow, yeah, she was That's looking for me time. very much so. Yeah, really. okay, well, now she's half Galveston. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, thank you all for including me. Um, any way I can help, I, I'm very 